Today is May 9th, and as usual, I'll take a look at the newest items in Halo Infinite Store and determine whether or not they're worth your money. So this is Game Magpies, I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. Now, obviously, we have to start off by talking about this week's ultimate reward, and that should be the AAP Granite Chest Piece for the Mirage Armor Core. Overall, this is a pretty solid ultimate. It's a pretty nice chest piece for the core, and it goes very well with one of the coatings that is actually available today. But more on that later. Now, going over to the store, in some regards, this week is definitely better, but in one, I'd argue it is worse. But before I explain why, let's talk about today's daily item, and that is the return of the Hexing Sky Bundle. This bundle gives you eight weapon coatings for 700 credits, which although I don't think it's a terrible deal, at the same time, I do believe that the Bandit should be included in this, as this is a Season 3 bundle, this was released this season, so I don't really feel like there's any reason to not include the, the Bandit, as the Golden Age bundle, which is the same price, the same rarity, also includes the bandits. You do get the coating for every other weapon, and it's fine. It's by no means my favourite. I do think it's a decent one, and 700, although not ideal. Again, drawing comparisons to something like Fortnite, weapon skins and that cost about 300, and you get it for all your weapons and certain vehicles. Obviously, some of them do cost more than that, but the ones that usually cost more tend to be animated or reactive or have some kind of special feature. But as far as other bundles in Infinite goes, this is one of the better ones for the weapon skin bundles. Although at the same time, we did have Atomic Flint and Strong Iris for 400 and 300 each. Anyway, moving on to our next bundle, we have the return of Neon Beat. This gives you the Neon Beat Mythic Effect set, the Juice Visor, and the Synthwave Sasquatch Emblem. You get it as an armor emblem, a nameplate, a vehicle emblem, and a weapon emblem. For 1,000 credits, I really do think this is pretty overpriced. I mean, the effects themselves, I'd argue at a base point, are usually about 500. Yes, sometimes they've costed more. I think 500 is a pretty decent price for them. But then when you factor that in, you're basically paying like 500 for the effect, 500 for the visor, 500, uh, well, 500 for the visor and emblem. I do think this is a pretty overpriced one. The effect set does look cool. The visor is a pretty unique one. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it is definitely more on the unique side of things. The emblem itself is cool, but 1,000 credits really is not a good price for what you get in there. There has been worse, obviously, but it could be a lot better too. And next up is the return of the Aqua Hex Bundle. This was released in a Super Bundle at the beginning of the season. You get the Aqua Hex coating for the Commando, the Sidekick, the Bulldog, the Battle Rifle, and the Assault Rifle. Five weapon coatings for 600 credits. Now, when you compare that to Hexing Sky, which is also on the store today as today's daily, which costs 700, for that, eight coatings... For 700 credits, same rarity, this is 5 for 600. That's three coatings less. Personally, I don't really think that's worth it. I think this coating should, again, be on every weapon. I don't think they should be charging 600 for only five weapon coatings. The coating itself is fine, but I do think there's better options. Now, the next two is where things get juicy, as we have two armor sets on this week. Granted, neither of these are new, but I guarantee people will be pretty excited for the return of them. And first of all, we have Security Gen 3. This was released alongside Aqua Hex in the Super Bundle at the beginning of the season. I imagine you've already guessed what the other bundle is, considering it's probably also on the thumbnail. But anyway, in the Security Gen 3 bundle, you get the Oppressor Mark II Helmet Attachment, the Security Gen 3 Helmet, the Ahala Shoulders, which are the Mark VI Gen 2 ones, the one that Master Chief has in Halo 4 and Halo 5. You also get the Macro Spline Chest Piece. Not a huge fan of this one, as there isn't really many coatings that match with it, unless you have something like Estate Gold. You also get the Project Casclume Wrist Attachment, which is a decent one, the Cyan Sky Visor, and the Pattern Shift Coating. The bundle costs 1,200 credits, which seems to be the base point for most of the Mark 7 armor sets, and I think as a whole, this is a pretty solid choice. I like the shoulders, I like the helmet, the helmet attachment's pretty decent, the coating isn't the best, but I can definitely see some people making some cool builds with this. The visor's decent. Uh, the only thing that I'm not really a huge fan of is definitely the chest piece and the wrist attachment. For 1.2k though, you can't really go wrong here, it could be better, I do think it's missing the addition of something like a stance or emblem, which most of the other armor sets do tend to have, but this one is missing those. So I do think if anything it should cost 1000 or 1100 like Locus, but because the helmet and the helmet attachment are pretty decent, I'm not going to complain too much. Although I did buy these in the Super Bundle at the beginning of the season, which cost 2200 and then the final bundle on the store this week is the Eren Yes bundle, and this was obviously released alongside Security and Aquahex, and this does bring up my only real problem with the store this week, is the fact that all three of these were released in a Super Bundle at the beginning of the season, and they're now taking up three slots, which kind of doesn't give a lot of other bundles the opportunity to return. But I'm not going to complain too much because it is cool to see the Super Bundle finally be broken up, it feels like it's taken forever, and people can finally start to buy these individually. 
Anyway, this bundle also contains eight items. However, it costs 1,400 as opposed to the 1,200 of Security Gen 3. And personally, I don't see any reason for this to cost 200 credits more as it does contain the same amount of items. Anyway, in the bundle, you get the Erin Yes helmet, the Erin Yes HYMN helmet attachment, the Lacweb SCMP shoulder pads, not a huge fan of these, the SMP knee pads, it has these instead of a visor, the Lacweb TRM core chest piece, the S the SCMP wrist attachment and the Void Ultra Coating, which is the one that matches the chest piece ultimate reward this week pretty well. The best thing here is easily the coating. The rest of the stuff is fine. Not a massive fan of this armor set as a whole, but I do think it should be the same price as security. I think, yeah, sure, it's, it's knee pads instead of a visor. It's an actual armor piece, but I don't really think that warrants the bundle costing 200 credits more. But yeah, that sums up everything on the store this week. It's cool that we've got two armor sets, even if they were both released at the same time originally. I do think the content here, uh, although none of it's new, which is disappointing, it's cool to finally see the Super Bundle be broken up. But before we do round things off, we do have to cover this week's spawn of the week, and this one is from your friend Virgil. It's a pretty nice Rikshasa build with the Morrigan helmet, big fan of how that looks, and he took a screenshot in the cutscene, which definitely adds to the spawn, makes it look really cool here. And yeah, I'm a big fan of how this looks. This is the second week in a row we've had a Rikshasa spawn. Rikshasa can look really good. Although I do think at times it's very hit and miss. Anyway, if you want the opportunity to be featured as the spawn of the week, make sure to join the Discord. I'll leave a link to that in the pinned comment. Sorry that this shot video has ended up being a bit longer than usual. I don't know if I've just spent longer talking about things or if it's just because there's a second armor set. We do have the mid-season update tomorrow. I did think that was today initially. However, I read the article wrong. But yeah, the mid-season update's tomorrow, and hopefully there'll be some new shop bundles that are permanently purchasable. Well, not new, but some of the older shop bundles will be permanently purchasable. I'm excited to see what they are alongside the other content of the update. Anyway, let me know if you'll be purchasing any of these items down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.